Hi, my name is Jeff. Uh, I'm a contributor at DirtyShirt.info and we're actually in the middle of a bathroom remodel here. Uh, this is, happens to be my neighbor's house and I've done a lot of work in this, um, in this particular dwelling um, as well as my own house. And I've been able to kind of compare and contrast some of the things that I found here and at, at my own house. Um, what I wanted to do was I, I did sort of a, an effort on the web to try and find um, plumbing specific issues with regards to removing and um, installing a bathtub because we are replacing the tub in this bathroom. Uh, I didn't find a whole lot. I saw a lot of like manufacturer specific stuff where they had a, a particular solution and then they went ahead and did a demonstration like in new construction. But this is 30 year old construction and it didn't really meet my needs so I figured well we'll just go ahead and make our own here. So. Um, that's what we're doing. Um, my intent is not to talk about a complete uh, remodel here, but we'll hit some of the highlights of what we've got going. If you just turn around here for a second, um, what would normally be the vanity for the, the bathroom it would be all over here. We've taken all this out, mirrors, old light fixtures, that stuff is all going to be replaced. Um, of course, all the walls will be treated. Um, we're going to do some texturing and painting and, and all those things. So we'll fix you know this side of it up. Then over here, what we did was um, we pulled out the original metal tub. It wasn't cast iron, it's just metal. It's really, really uh, heavy and tough to deal with with regards to one individual trying to, to do the work. And now we've, got, um, now we've got this tub over here, which is a fiberglass uh, model. It's quite a bit lighter, and, um, but still we're in a confined space and it is pretty darn difficult to, to deal with uh, as an individual. That being said, it can be done um, because I, I set this tub in place at least three or four times yesterday as I worked on the plumbing to try and get this lined up. So climb down here to the hole which is really the, the nature of why I want to do the video and we'll take a closer look at, at what we have here. So this house is actually a cement foundation home uh, and uh, uh, we have this wastewater wastewater you know piece coming up. Um, the way this works the way this works is, is that this piece goes down inside here okay this is the overflow for the tub, this is the drain for the tub. And when I set the new tub in place, when I set the new tub in place, uh, I wasn't able to, they, they didn't line up anymore. So I had to create this new piece. And you can see that the dimensions are, are a little bit different. It's a little longer in both dimensions um, than the old one. So there's no really no way to get uh, a really good like uh, uh, frame of reference for your measurements there. So you kind of got to fit it together and piece it and you know fool with it a little bit. And that's why I had to go in and out with the tub until I got that to line up. Um, one of the things that I found when I first got into this was that the old piece sat here like this. And you can see it's got this black material that's, that's all over it. And here's actually a piece of it. And it was just slathered over the top here. And it just didn't really seem to make any rhyme or reason. I'm sure what they were doing was trying to make a seal from the plastic to the iron piece here. However, they didn't do a very good job. The black tar in, in whatever paper this, this type of stuff is was in all the wrong places and didn't seem to really you know, have any bearing on what was going on here. Now, on the other side of this wall is the living room, okay? And I installed wooden floor in the living room. And if that gets wet, which we're only inches away here, right? So that, that's going to be a problem. Um, we have to make sure that this does not leak. Um, what we're going to do is buy another tar product uh, similar to this for the new plumbing, okay, when we install this. And we'll set this in place first, like so, with the tar um, sealing up everything. And then we'll set the tub in place. Now, you could actually say, well, you know, hey, Jeff, you could, you know, you could maybe knock a hole in this wall and, you know, come at it from that way and, and sort of piece things together in that manner. And, you know, look at all the stuff that you've got in your way. So if you cut a hole in this wall, you, you better, make it a, better make it right, right? Because it's not going to be easy to get to this particular piece um, in order to do all that seal work. So that's the plan, all right? So we'll put the tar all over it. We'll... Well, uh, what's called cold welding, which is really just a chemical bond on the white PVC. It's a you know a, like a glue type of uh, uh, sealer, and uh, you know and, and then set the tub in place, and then we'll get on get on it with you know putting back the um, we we've, we've got hardy board that we're going to put here, sort of a like a cement product, and hang that, and then we're going to tile this whole surround actually from tub to ceiling, um, and it'll be uh, you know have borders and, and so forth. So we've got some decorative elements that are also going in. Um, one last thing before we go is, is that this tub is also going to have new hardware at the water 
spigot, the uh, control, and then up at the uh, shower head. And I had to replace this, and um, it's not always an easy job. This one wasn't too bad, but you know it eventually gets there. And in fact, once we turn the uh, water back onto the house, you have to turn the water off. Uh, it actually leaked, so I had to do a little bit more soldering actually on, on this side. This was all burned up before I got here. This was from the original plumber, um, he, and he had caught the uh, house on fire. He also caught my house on fire, actually real live fire with fire engines and, and all kinds of things when it was being built. So this guy didn't really you know, seem to know what he was doing, and I can tell you from experience that he didn't do anything right in, with regards to my plumbing because I have all kinds of problems over there. So this is just one more example of his work. Uh, and that's unfortunate because it gives the plumber a bad name then. So uh, the Moan product I thought was really pretty cool. Uh, when you apply heat to this particular device, we've got the copper pipe and we've got a brass uh, control here. Uh, what it allows you to do, and I'm not going to dare pull this out because this actually has water pressure on it right now, is there's just a little clip. And what you do is you pull this clip out and you can remove the plastic and rubber controls out, out of the brass and then you can heat it up. It doesn't cause a problem. Um, and then after it's cool, you just slide it back in, the clip goes down, you can turn the water on. So it works, you know, it's really, really easy to do, and I really appreciated that. It was nice to work with, nice stuff to work with, and, and it's uh, pretty pricey stuff, too. So, you know, you get what you pay for, and that's definitely the case here. So that's it. That's the plan. Thanks for watching.